Hello everyone, welcome back with our SPS video. Today we're back on Lunar SPS, the biggest custom server of them today, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be recording a brand new video here. I'm super excited. I hope you guys are as well. First things first, the starter pack. If you guys never checked out Lunar, make sure to do so. The links are down below. When you guys log in for the first time, make sure to type Colin Gory Fan to the chat. And with the code Walkers, you guys will be getting a very nice starter pack. So I make sure we claim claiming that one. Anyone can claim this beautiful starter pack right here. Giveaway is going to be a gold card pack, one lucky winner. All you have to do for that one is like the video, comment, your name down below, and be subscribed to my channel. If you guys have checked the loot night, do so. Links down below, and I would say, let's get right into the video. So today, we're going to do a little bit of a custom content showcase. I love doing these videos right here because this server right here has a lot of unique custom content, and it's actually really, really worth showcasing. So, let's jump right into it. The first really cool thing that is very unique to Luna to mention is definitely the RF quest right there. After you guys join, you complete the training zone. And then you also have some uh, beautiful star touch right here that you guys want to go ahead and complete. After you do all of these right here, you get a very nice crystal set, which is also very, very OP. Plus 99 Slayer, which is one of the requirements. You guys will be able to do the RF quest right here. Sorry, this beautiful quest right here, ladies and gentlemen, is gonna give you the RF costume right here, which is essentially your first custom costume, which is a unique item slot right here. It is super nice, gives drop rate bonus, and there was multiple costumes you guys will be able to grind on Luna. After you do that one, you have pretty much three different as grinds to go. So there's the beautiful zones grind right here. Slayer grind is pretty fucking amazing, and you also start grinding towards the first boss requirements right here. So everything is very, very structured. The most unique thing, in my opinion, is definitely the upgrade system they've implemented right here. So I, after you get level 120 invention, you guys will be able to enter this bad boy right here. And in here, you have a very nice structure what you guys are going to be grinding for. So the first thing you want to go for is the execution set right here by combining these items or getting lucky in the first raid on Luna, which you're going to go later on in the video. Then you want to go for this execution weapons right here, as we can see the different styles right here. Forge these items, get this bad boy, and then you guys will be able to get the light version of that, the dark version, the blood version, and after that, you are pretty fucking lit. Because these are very, very strong right here, and I'm going to show you later on as well how to get the next upgrade. The first big gear upgrade is the loose figure that you guys can forge by the execution piece, as well as the beautiful loose attachments right here. There. Also very unique on Luna are definitely the mini games. So this is the raid I was just talking about where you guys will be able to get your execution weapons and gear right there. Then we have the Sanctum of Death. That's the next big upgrade after Lucifer. Super, super nice. So you guys want to be following these three different sets right here. You also have the Treasure Hunter mini game right here, which is very nice for these patterns right here, as well as the owner attachment. This is a mini game. You're going to be farming a lot for owner attachments. These are the upgrades from the owner piece into the owner U piece. I'm going to show you that in a second. Hells of Amor right here. Also a very unique custom mini game where you guys will be farming these supplies right here that you will need for the Equiver equipment. I'm going to go later on to that as well. Pass control, very straightforward, very good weapons, as you can see right there. So you guys want to go ahead and farm that as well. Assassin mini game is uh, very interesting as well because that one is after you complete all the zones, you guys will be able to enter this Assassin Guild right here. It's pretty much extending the zones grind. Also, you get some very nice upgrades. The Gemstone Kasaki is needed for the Quiver. So, I, before we go into the other mini games, what is the Quiver? The Quiver is one of the most important items, in my opinion, one of the nicest quality of life items Lu9 has. So, I, you need the following items right here. You need to get yourself the Kasaki from completing the Assassin mini guild. After completing all the zones, complete that Assassin mini game. Room 2. You get the Kasaki, they need to farm these crests right here, which you guys will be able to farm through a beautiful blood weapon, as well as an empty crest. Empty crest can be farmed through Slayer. So uh, you get these crests right here, you get the beautiful Kasaki from the minigame, and then you get also from the minigame, I've just showed you, the tier 3 version, 25k each of these, and then you guys will be able to make the Assassin Quiver. That's a big fucking grind, it's super worth it, it gives you soul split effect, so you can do so many different things with protection prayers on that you guys need to use. But at the same time, you also have soul split on, so you're gonna be healing. So that's super freaking amazing. The owner U pieces, as you can see right here, as mentioned before, you need to get all the owner pieces by getting yourself lucky on the jewelry goodie bags. How do you get these ones free to play? Own AK Forge from the Loose Wings and 50 mil cash will get you two beautiful owner jewelry goodie bags right there. And then you're gonna get lucky and pull these items right here. Good luck getting those, and you guys can see right here, you always need these own attachments. So there's a lot of own attachment grind in these beautiful grinds. However, it's not just the beautiful uh, minigame that you can farm, but you can also buy it from the donator shop right here, the in-game one. So I'm spending lovely donator points on the own attachment. You can also buy a bunch of other things from here. As for example, two times KC pack, which is pretty nice item early on right here. And anything else you guys like in here will be able to purchase as well. So you guys grind the beautiful uh, owner U pieces. The next big upgrade weapon-wise is through Isles of the Gulch right here, where you guys will need to get yourself some attachments, which you guys can find in the bossing tab right here. 
all the way to the bottom of the gotch right here. It has a bit of a requirement grind, so you have a lot of grinds ahead of you before you enter this one right here. And then you will be farming for these right attachments right here to get that one. For the gear, you need to go into the Celestial Zone. Celestial Zone is uh, capped through the zones as well as the Assassin minigame. So after you complete the Assassin minigame, you guys will be able to enter the beautiful Celestial Zone. To farm Celestial Energy, you do two different activities in there. They're pretty straightforward. It's skilling based and you start farming Celestial Energy. That's a long as fucking grind. You'll be able to upgrade all of these items right here into the next upgrade, which is super freaking amazing. There's also the Divine Scroll you guys will be able to upgrade later on as well. And so much more. After you guys get that one, you guys will be able to go into even crazy gear. So the Celestial Gear right here by forging the upgrade versions of Sanctum of Death pieces into the Celestial Gear right here. 15,000 and stats. Which is equally good as the beautiful uh, gear you guys will be farming from the second raid. So, we go back to the mini games as mentioned before. So, after you guys farm Sanctum of Death and all these good stuff right here, you have Celestial Gear. You want to start farming the beautiful Chambers of Anima right here. So, this is the latest raid. It's super hard to do, but this map is going to give you 15,000 in stats, which equals to the Celestial set up to showcase you right there. And then you have even crazier grinds with the beautiful bosses right here because after the Arts of the Gods has been completed, you need to farm the beautiful Leventhin right here, so you get the Leventhin Sigil, which you can go ahead and forge with these weapons right here, to get the next better weapons right here. Then you have the Magistar, Tecton, Scotes, and Zalcano, which are all dropping some amazing items, as well as a bunch of different, um, well, unique shards that you guys need to be collecting for best in slot items. So, there is a shit ton of custom grinds on loot, and everything makes very nice sense. Make sure you use the upgrade interface right here for a little bit of a guidance right here. And this right here is all the end game content you guys will be unlocking right now. So best in slot right here. As you can see, Celestial plus the Shards of the Showcase you. Best in slot weapons right here. After you farm the Leventhin weapons, you need another Leventhin Sigil. Also the Ziliana one is also the Tactic Shard to get these upgrades right here. So that's a big fucking ass grind. Do you guys think that's it? No, there is so much more. Enchantment skill right here. Skills you guys can go ahead and use for your account to get extra perks. For example, the 20% AoE damage boost right there. 5% chance to getting two times KC on NPC zones. There's even the Grim Reaper right here, the best one, 0.2 chance to instantly kill any monster in the game. And so many different perks. How do you get these perks unlocked? Through Unlockment Scrolls. How do you get the charges right here? You need to buy the beautiful enchantment book that you guys can buy right here. You do PVM and then you're gonna be collecting the beautiful pages. You can either sell them to make money or you can use them on your account for charges. Super freaking amazing. A bunch of custom shops ready that you guys will be able to check out yourself. There's a bunch of amazing global bosses as well that you guys will be able to farm. The best one is the Mimic one, so do not miss out on the beautiful Mimic. After that one, we have the beautiful Hanto boss right here that you guys can see all the timers or tokens needed. Uh, Luna Guard is the next best one and so many more. So do not miss out on these bad boys either right there. Then finally, what they've also added in the last update is his Spory boss. That's a Glaber boss that is based on the beautiful completion of 100 Slayer Masters. So you want to go ahead and farm the beautiful Grandmaster Slayers right there. So there's a lot of Slayer content as well. So there is endless grinds on Luna as you can see right here. So you definitely want to be checking out this show if you guys are looking for something really unique to play. Also, it hit over 600 players yesterday. It's absolute insane same for a custom server to hit these player numbers right here so definitely give it a try if you haven't yet and again if you haven't used our full code yet make sure to do so call and grab your phone to the chat and with the code walkers you'll be getting a very juicy start back also check out my stream check out all the other youtuber stuff as well you can win a bunch of lovely free goodies from them as well and that is going to be it for today thank you so much for tuning in make sure to enter the giveaway by smashing the like button commenting your name down below and be subscribed to my channel i'll see you all around have a good one and peace out